Hello, it's Roland from Mindful Tips and this is part two of how to improve your self-esteem. We're continuing this video from number six, which is talk about your imperfections and fears with positive people. Remember in the last part of the video part one, I was talking about how you have to be open with your fears, no matter what it is. But have you ever had the experience that you had a fear and you, were, and you, you made the decision to talk about it with somebody and they just laughed at you? They made fun of you. How embarrassing that was. Now, what I'm about to say is gonna be crucial now. Talk about your fears with positive people the people who can see the whole picture the people who's for instance into self-development who made something in their life who literally got somewhere and they have a full perspective on how you feel at the moment i'm thinking about people like mentors who knows what you're going through and who might experience the same fear what you're experiencing right now and learned by that he technically has gone through the same what you're going through right now so he understands he feels em empathy and he's just really really gonna effectively help you how to get out of it number seven reward yourself for small and big achievements as well there is a little bit of glitch in our society which is which is going back to basically your childhood again that when you were at high school and you were growing up and you came back from school and you had a bad grade, you've always been told off so bad. It was drama, it was disastrous. But think about it, whenever you got an award or a good score or you won something or a good grade, have you ever really, really, really been rewarded for that? The answer is no, because that is standard. That's how you should be. You should be achieving good grades. No, that's not the case. Because of this, now, whenever you fail at life, at something, you're gonna just beat yourself completely up because that's how you've been wired. And on the other hand, when you succeed at anything, you'd be like, well, standard whatever that's not how it works you need to reward yourself fully whatever small or big achievement you've achieved for instance you get an upgrade you get promotion at work go on a holiday go on a little weekend reward yourself spend as much money you want just reward yourself. Go take yourself to the cinema. Go do whatever it takes that makes you feel good. Just reward yourself. Let's take care of yourself. Number eight. Learn new things. This is how human brain works. Human brain is like an amazing, huge, huge, complex system of wires in your brain. And the more of the wires you use, the smarter you get and the more emotion you feel the happier you get so basically I want you to remember in your life that once you've learned a new skill for instance you learned how to ski remember that night the fir after the first lesson the first skiing lesson you get in bed and you can't even sleep you keep having flashbacks about skiing. 
you dream about skiing, you don't have a proper sleep. It happens because your brain is rewiring itself completely and it's growing. Growth is the key for happiness. You know, there's two types of happiness. The first one is momentary and the second one is internal. Momentary happiness is, for instance, having a chocolate bar. You're gonna have a sugar rush, you're gonna feel a little bit of happiness for like an hour, and then you're gonna drop back to even bigger depression that you were before, you're gonna feel a lot worse. Or, as another example, for instance, holiday, you go on a holiday, it only takes seven days, so it's a scarce thing. It's, it makes you happy because it's a scarce, because you know that these seven days is for you now, and you can never get it back. You need to enjoy yourself. So it's based on scarcity. It makes you happy because you know you're never gonna experience the same probably ever in your life. Now, the second one is internal happiness. Right? Internal happiness is basically based on you as a person growing and increasing the spectrum in your life which means that basically you're growing you're learning new things you're learning new skills you are improving yourself and you are progressing you're fully progressing in life you're going forward and forward and forward you're gonna be a better and better and better person every single day and every once in a while you're gonna look back at yourself like how could I be that guy and God, how much I've improved. And it's gonna fill you up with happiness, with fulfillment. That is the key. Number nine. Thank people. Be grateful for people who are helping you on the way. This is about being grateful for everything you have. This is about appreciation of other people that help you achieve your goal, your success. Because a human should never succeed on its own. Because we, at the end of the day, we are a society living on the same planet. And we just, it's common sense to help each other out. And by that I can also mean just like read a book of someone. Because people spending their whole life and at the end of it, they put their whole life experience into one book. And it's there for you on the shelf for bloody $12. And you can learn his whole life experience. So you basically gained another life. So always be grateful for people who's helping you because at the end it's like a big puzzle it's like power rangers uniting and succeeding in life and we came to the last one number 10 speak look and stand positively what I mean by this body language is the first it's a scientific fact that if you start posing in any body language after one minute it's gonna make you feel something for instance if you in this posture this is a closed one you're closed up you're scared you can feel closed up and intimidated and scared but if you pull your back out chest out head up and stand like this you're gonna feel a lot more confident naturally there was a scientific experiment once which was basically there was two groups group number one had to sit like this for one minute and after one minute Whenever they felt like, they had to jump with a rope, it's called bungee jump, jump down. 
whenever they felt like it. Group number two had to stand on the top of the bungee jump thing like this, screaming, shouting, like completely open and confident, the V-shape, the shape of winning. For one minute, and after one minute, whenever they felt like, they can literally just jump. Guess what happens? Group number one, after a minute of this, they were hesitant, they were sitting there like, oh my god, I can't really jump, this is intimidating. They were set, set there another one minute, another two minutes, and after a while, they, some of them, they never jumped, some of them actually put themselves through jump, but group number two, who had the body language of the winners and the confidence, they jumped straight away. Lesson learned, your body language is, I think, one of the most important aspects when it comes to self-confidence and self-esteem. If you behave a certain way, you're going to feel a certain way. That was me, Roland from Mindful Tips. I hope you've learned a few things from all these 10 pieces of advice I've just thrown at you from Manchester and now from here, a beautiful park in the heart of Budapest. And I hope that I managed to boost up your self-esteem a little bit. It's not gonna happen in a day or a week. It's gonna happen if you proactively practice and have these views on everyday life. Right, if you got any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and talk to you later.